There's kind of stressors, like things that pose challenges for people and can raise anxiety. And then there's kind of how we respond to it. When stress then kind of becomes difficult to deal with and people continue to process stress and, and worry about stressful things, then it kind of moves into anxiety. I have a lot of older siblings and so I felt a lot of pressure to do as well as they did in school. Mainly procrastination. Like assignments and the pressure to be the best in the class. The pressure to have really good grades and to have um, like really good friends and also I was doing a sport so it was a lot of, lot of stress. I just felt like I needed to get through it. I just generally ignored the stress. I usually ignore it. I pretend that I'm not stressed. Most of the time I would just uh, kind of persevere through it. One of the most common responses is I, I think stress is normal. One danger is just that to the extent that people see stress and distress as a normal experience, then, then uh, they don't necessarily seek help when they might need it. And even when it becomes a very serious situation, like even people considering suicide, their view of what's normal keeps shifting a little bit. They don't kind of realize how far they've gone. Their heart rate is up, signs of being nervous, anxious, kind of looking around a lot, fidgety, difficulty concentrating, difficulty sleeping, difficulty eating, change or, or even sleeping a lot more than usual. So basically changes in usual patterns with respect to basic things. Little stress here and there, that's normal. That's something that we need to grow and learn, um, but kind of a constant state of distress and a constant feeling of stress is, is, is really where the harmful, unhealthy part comes in. Things like physical activity and um, getting enough sleep, simple things, um, eating kind of regular healthy meals, talking, engaging socially with, with supportive other people in our network, our family, our friends, people that kind of make us feel good when we're around them and, and we enjoy being around, they can offer some support. It's more a matter of just um, being motivated to look for when people in our social networks, our friends are distressed and actually say something about it and actually just just actually acknowledging it like how are you doing um, and kind of give people a chance to then kind of draw some support from you just by opening the conversation. That That's really the, the first thing and perhaps the most important thing is to open the door. But then beyond that, certainly when, when a friend or somebody we know is really struggling to encourage them to seek help if we think that that's what they're going to need beyond just talking.